Alright guys, Supreme Kami here and today we are going to be starting to take a look at the multi-mission coin exchangeable unit. So in terms of what we have for this uh, two week period, uh, so I'm actually going to be starting things up with the Gundam Max Shooters. So uh, because this is a unit that I have uh, pretty much maxed it out, <laughs> you know, no pun intended last time around when it came out so we only do have five parts and then we have uh three parts with the ex skill and then two part with part trade so let's do take a look at the overall unit first so you guys can see that i had maxed it up fully maxed it out the arms legs as well as the back part right there so this is going to be a quick spin so this is a very short you know overall uh just because i feel like they were scaling it based on the actual non-grade one to one for the first scale back in the good old days so yeah um other than that we can you can actually do this unit if you do go over to display you can do modified parts effects and then it's pretty much gonna shut off the armor. So this is like the boxing mode. How I, I, I don't even know the actual translation, but this is like the boxing mode. So you do have the um, shoulder pads on the forearm now, and then as for the you know the torso piece now, it kind of resembles like a kind of like a you know uh, a but beefed up chest. You know, uh, yeah. So that is that. Uh, so now besides that, let's do take a look at the alteration and see um how good is it um I, I i would definitely have to say this one is not bad of an alteration uh just because the part trace some you know some of them is good and then as for the ex skew the army is good that one is good good animation overall and then let's see maxter should be is it damn is it really that low below okay let's see uh as for the head part it's actually not bad uh, I'll, I'll definitely say uh, the piercing could come in handy depending on what kind of situations you guys are looking at. Uh, primarily in terms of if you're talking about piercing part tree, they are definitely going to be very good in those challenge events because they definitely try to do some gimmicks where uh, they want you to be using some specific typing or kind of like a specific, let's say, um, EX skill or whatever bow they want you to be using it. These ones don't really care about what kind of condition. They will pretty much do any damage, <laughs> no problem. Just breaking their defensive wall or bypassing whatever. Not really, in a sense, bypassing because they pretty much like um, not really nullify their defense, but they just kind of allow you to push through it. So. Uh, as far as the second part trade, you do have a melee power boost of about 30%. So, I mean, like a free 30% power boosting, you know, if you're talking about free to play, it's good. Honestly, pretty good. Uh, some restriction, it's going to be Outfighter and then uh, P attribute. So, not really that bad, but it is still two very niche condition that you have to fulfill. So, it may not work for everyone. So, but it's, it's still a very good part to kind of max things out. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, as far as the torso here, let's see, we do have the high primo, uh, it is going to be offering yourself only speed, uh, speed increase by 20%, melee power or melee attack up by 29%, as well as shot attack up by 19%. Uh, is it ever good to be running these awakening? I would definitely say no, just because of the fact that I would rather use like an actual, like an, like an actual EX skill to do the damage and buffing myself and doing all the other shenanigans whereas you know these are just kind of oh activate something and then not getting anything in return in, in, in a sense so yeah it, it really depends how you want to look at things so if you guys feel like you want the awakening for the aesthetic just for the like the power up you know the effects definitely go for it um there's definitely no way right, won't answer but it's just in terms of an ex skill slot I usually do not put any awakening unless I know my EX skill, unless I know there's a specific build that I wanted to gear towards, then it's cool. So at the end of the day, it really depends on what you want to do. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's more, it's not, it's not conventional, right? Uh, because you would rather put an EX skill over it and awakening. So simple as that. Uh, going over to the arm. Let's see what are we looking at. So stat wise, so uh, obviously we're not gonna be looking at them just because they're they're typically not on par anymore in, in a way. So as for as for the EXQ, we do have a cyclone slash burning machine gun punch. So this one is gonna be offering a D Pierce and B plus power. So very good. And keep that in mind, the cooldown on this one is a very short. So um, if you do want to put this into a 100% cooldown reduction tech build, uh, this one should hit like a truck. Not hit like a truck, but um, just spamming that is so, it's just so good. Just fascinating seeing all those points just flying around. 
Uh, I, you know what I want to do testing? Uh, just because of the fact that this one says it's a physical melee. Um, I just wonder what happens. Because in terms of the animation, you're not up close punching people. You're actually firing off from like a far, I would have to say a good distance. So I just really want to see what happens if I put this into a middle shooter slash a long shooter job lessons for um, experiment. Um, obviously, I don't expect to get anything in return, but I think that should be a cool experiment, I guess. So that's that. Um, last but not least, uh, in terms of EXT, we do have the leg over here. So we do have the gigantic magnum. So this one is another cool EXT to look at. Uh, this one back in the day, this one was considered a very powerful range type EXT. Yes, this one was pretty good back then. Uh, but the chances of missing that EXT is uh, substantially high. Kind of keep that in mind. Uh, last but not least, uh, we do have the back part. Uh, this one, the first portrait was definitely very very non-attractive but the second trait giving you a buff ex scale effects up by 22 percent so in regards to that one this one is definitely very good for any of your uh your mobile fighter tag build so to this day i would still feel like this one is still a good candidate just because a free 22 percent is definitely not it's not easy to come by so definitely do max things out for sure so overall in terms of max the gundam there's definitely tons of good stuff to be maxing out especially the arm legs as well as maybe the back part or maybe the head part depending on your liking sense and stuff but uh that's gonna be pretty much it for the review definitely a lot of good stuff to be farming out uh up next uh, let's do put this onto a dual type 100 kuna build and just see how good those ex go are all right so we are here since uh, we do only have three ex skills so why not activate this right there so oh look at that so as for this one it this changes into oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's why yeah that's why this ex skill looks nice like just just look at that i'm just over here admiring those princes oh my gosh yeah this is dope uh i guess this is the reason why you do want to use an awakening for the master if you are using whole skin or if you're using partially uh you know some of the let's say parts yeah this one is gonna be fire oh look at those shots yeah <laughs> yeah they hit it fast and they yeah it's cool you do like a spinning spinning attack right there and they they do provide a pretty good um output so yeah they're definitely no sleeper for sure uh i want to test the range okay it's not bad oh okay oh it's good <laughs> Oh my gosh, so two sets. You got like a white hook and a left hook. Bam. Did we get it from it right here? No, we cannot. But this one, I am definitely eager to test it now to see if this one works on, let's say, um, my limit break. Like this one, I feel like it can. I don't know. Oh my gosh, the range of these are crazy. Like, what? Um, so that is the damage, right? So we are looking at roughly above a hundred and something. So let me activate this. So obviously it's gonna increase, right? There is no way it wouldn't. Yeah. All right, as I expect. So this one obviously a million ex skill. So act activating a infinite job license would definitely give you an increase for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. This thing is sick. Let's get it. <laughs> I don't know. It, yeah, it's too good. Let me know. Uh, let me know how do you guys feel about those EXQ. Uh, left and right hook, definitely really awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, as for the late EXQ, like I said again, that will just have a pretty high tendency actually missing if your target is rushing at you. Uh, I would definitely say you will probably only get one of those attacks in. While if you're talking about, let's say, an enemy that is far away, like a long shooter, middle shooter, that when they're charging up their special attacks yeah that's gonna be a very good time to be using that but uh, other than that uh let me do hop back in once again so this time around i am going to be using a shop based uh, cooldown reduction type build uh simply i just want to see does the limit break even matters on this ex skill so i'll be right back sick again so i do have the limit break right there so i just do want to see what kind of damage up we already talked about so Roughly about a two two sixty three. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll just repeat that. This one is probably gonna be more because this is on a shooting based build. 
All right, so now we do have the number. Let's try things out from here. Okay, I don't think no, definitely, definitely not. I don't no. There's no way we got the laser. No, I don't know. Definitely not. All right, so that's safe to say that we did not get that. Uh, as for the shop HD exclude, there should be an, yeah. There's definitely an increase in number because uh, obviously a range beam range. So yeah. So this one definitely did not benefit from any shooting base uh, Libra Breaker, so that is like confirmed pretty much right there. I guess you guys can see that as for the base number, we will talk about roughly about 260 something, and yeah. And you do have a pretty good chance of getting knocked out if your enemy does anything, so. But yep, that pretty much confirms it. So uh, up next, uh, I'm probably going to be doing two separate I'm um, gonna be two, doing two separate builds. It's gonna be one is gonna be using this one. I just wanna see what kind of maximum damage we can be getting. Uh, gonna be doing that for both of them and see. I I'll actually be activating the hyper one as well just to cheese out extra power. So we'll be right back. All right, so first up, let's try out the cyclone slash machine gun or burning machine gun punch. So activate this and then activate this. Oh, we got hit. Oh no. And how much was that? Like, oh my gosh. That was like a million a pop, so uh, I'm guesstimating there's roughly about 5 to 6 hits, so we were in both sides, we were closing into like 10 million damage, and that is very impressive. And lastly, let's try out the gigantic magnum here, so it's gonna be activating like limit break, and then just gonna cheese it in, and uh, we could not get in the other attacks because we finished off the enemy, so yeah that is going to be the downside factor if you are going to be facing an enemy that has a less armor pool uh chances are you'll probably get in that first hit and you are done but uh that is going to be pretty much it as for the master gunham so do let me know how you guys feel about those ex2 um although something that you can potentially slap onto your build uh i would definitely say the armor is good just because you do have that extra you know split seconds of you know front view of the actual unit doing the punch so that's definitely very impressive. As for the Elite EX2, I do have a little bit of a concern just missing. But um, other than that, portrait wise, some of them are definitely going to be very good. If you're talking, to, talking about new players that need something, um, I know it could be a hefty grind and, you know, kind of like uh, take into the consideration right now. As for the multi mission, there's always like connection issue, for example. So that could definitely be like a, you know, just not, you know, just not really motivated to be forming with those that can actually issue but overall the unit itself definitely topped uh 10 out of 10 in my opinion so yeah with that being said that is gonna be pretty much it and then i'll be catching you all on the next one